Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing solution to RMO 2023-P4. So here is the problem statement. Uh, you have two circle, two intersecting circles, God. two uh, with centers O1 and O2 respectively. Uh, L be a line. So this is like L uh, that intersect omega uh, omega one at points A and C and omega two at points B and D such that A B C D are collinear in this order. The perpendicular bisector of segment AB intersects uh, omega 1 at points P and Q, and the perpendicular bisector of CD intersects omega 2 at points R and S. Uh, and you have been given that P and R lie on the same side of L. So you have to prove that the midpoint of PR, midpoint of QS, and the midpoint of O1, O2 are collinear. So uh, the first thing we notice is that PQ would be perpendicular to line L because it is the perpendicular bisector of AB and RS would also be uh, perpendicular to L. So in fact, we get that uh, PQ is parallel to RS because both of them are perpendicular to L. So if you see it, you have a line, you have this line PQ, you have this line RS and you are considering the midpoint of PR uh, midpoint of QS, uh, because PQ is parallel to RS, uh, note that this line, this line made by the midpoints would, uh, also be parallel to this line, uh, to both of these lines. And in fact, what you can also say is that this distance would be equal because it's the midpoint. Okay. So the next thing we notice is that we have to show that the midpoint of O1, O2 also lies on this line. So, in fact, if we take any other line, like any other transverse cell that cuts it here and here, then uh, the intersect, okay, call this line L1, the intersection of the red line and L1 will be the midpoint of this chord. The reason is just that this is like the L1 is midline of PQ and RS. So, uh, with that idea in mind, uh, we extend O1, O2 and let it intersect PQ at some point say X and RS at some point Y. We know that uh, midpoint of XY uh, belongs to line L1, which is this line passing to midpoint of uh, PR and QS. And we want to show that the midpoint of O1, O2 to prove midpoint of O1, O2 uh, lies on this line L1. And hence we uh, have to prove that the midpoint of O1, O2 is same as the midpoint of XY because they would be collinear. Uh, oh, like the midpoint would lie on line XY of XY and O1, O2. So we want to show that uh, the midpoint of O1, O2 is same as the midpoint of XY. And if we just see here, your midpoint of O1, O2 is midpoint of XY would be same as say, saying uh, XO1 is equal to y o2 if we show this then we would be done okay so this is the first part of the problem i'll quickly shift here and so we defined x is O1, O2 intersect PQ and Y is O1, O2 intersect RS. L1 is line joining midpoint of midpoints of PR and QS. So uh, next up, we want to show that uh, XO1 is uh, y o2. So if you drop perpendiculars, you have x, you have y, so you have o1, o2, and you have this line x, y. So if you drop perpendiculars, suppose this point, call it say m and call this point n, then uh, by angle, uh, notice that these two lines are parallel and hence this angle 
angle MXO1 will be equal to angle NYO2. And we also have a 90 degree, uh, angle M and angle in a 90 degree. And hence what we get is that uh, uh, triangle MO1X would be similar to triangle NO2Y. This will be true uh, uh, always. And we want to show, we want to show, uh, we reduced here that we want to show that XO1 is YO2. And which, which would happen if and only if uh, triangle MO1X is in fact congruent to triangle NO2Y. Uh, and we already have this similarity. And hence, if we show any one side length, any corresponding side lengths are equal, we would be done. So what we do is we show that O1M is equal to O2N. So once we show this, Using this uh, similarity, we would infer that this thing and this thing would infer this. The triangles are congruent and this thing would infer this, which, which is what we wanted to prove. So we now reduce the problem to showing, uh, notice O1M is basically the perpendicular distance from O1 to line. Oh, this line is PQ. And this line is RS. So we reduce to uh, O1 M is basically the distance from O1 to line PQ. So what we want to show is that distance O1 to PQ is equal to distance O2 to RS. Cool. So this is the next part. Okay, so if we think it, okay, we want to show that the distance O1 to PQ is equal to distance from O2 to RS. So if you see in triangle RSD, we have triangle R S D. Uh, o one is the O two is the circumcenter of this, and we want to uh, we want to somehow get something nice about the distance between O two and R S. And another thing that we have is that we have the altitude from D. We have this altitude, and if you see C is in fact the reflection. C is reflection of D over RS. Uh, this is because RD equals RC and SD equals CS by the given condition. So this uh, reminds us of the thing that the distance bit. Uh, so if you take a triangle, consider the circumcenter and its orthocenter. This is the orthocenter. Then M is the midpoint. Then uh, we know that AH is equal to twice of OM. The proof for this is if you just extend AO and HM, you can show that these meet on the circle. And because A, because O is the circumcenter, you get this equal to this, and hence AH should be twice of OM. So, uh, so this is the uh, this is distance between O and the base. So. With this idea in mind, uh, we introduce the orthocenter of triangle RSD and PAQ. So let H1 is the orthocenter of RSD and H2 is the orthocenter of triangle PAQ. So here are the orthocenters. They would obviously lie on L because it uh, because we have the perpendicular. So now uh, using this thing, we get that uh, distance. We want to show that twice. Uh, we 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 basically want to show that dH one over two dH one over two is basically 
distance O1 and PQ is equal to uh, DH2 over 2, which would be equal, which would equal the distance from O2 to RS. And hence we want to prove that to prove that DH1 is equal to DH2. Uh, sorry, my bad. Uh, this should be A. Sorry. Uh, if you see in triangle PAQ, you have AH2. So you want to show that DH1 is AH2. So this is what we have reduced the problem to. And now, uh, if you see, you have triangle RDS, C is the reflection of D. And recollect the fact that reflection of orthocenter over any side lies on the uh, circum circle. So I'll just erase this. So you have this is a triangle orthocenter. And if you consider AH cap BC to be say H dash, then we know that. Uh, H and H dash are the reflections of BC. So if you see in triangle RDS, notice H1 and B are reflections over RS because H1 is the orthocenter of RSD and B is the altitude cap the circle. And so we have this thing. And we also know that C is the reflection of D over RS. So these two things would imply that uh, DH1 is equal to BC because just reflect in RS, D goes to C and H1 goes to B. So we prove the fact that DH1 is BC. And similarly, if we see in triangle PAQ, uh, AH2 would also be equal to BC upon reflecting about PQ. So we get that uh, DH1 is equal to BC is equal to AH2 and hence, dh1 is equal to ah2 and hence we are done